Welcome to the Inspirational, Informational, and Transparent Aviation Careers Podcast. Today, we answer listener mail. Specifically, someone wants to know what degree they should get to become a pilot. That's coming up next in this episode. But first, a quick shout out to our sponsor, Aerospace Scholarships. To find out more, you can go to aviationcareerspodcast.com slash scholarships. You can find out how you can get one free also, aviationcareerspodcast.com slash free you might be able to get yourself a free one because of the pay it forward program first of all uh just a quick update on what's going on here as you can tell we're here in uh, lakeland linder international airport they're doing a lot of uh, construction on the runway and uh, of course we have our new office here so please if you want to stop by come say hi we're at the skylight hangar but make sure you give me a call first because uh, of course i'm flying around the world uh, on my days off so anyway let's get started with this question uh, it's a real good one and by the way if you want to uh, ask a question feedback at aviationcareerspodcast.com we'd love to answer your questions uh, whether it's career related to piloting which 90 percent of our questions are or anything else in aviation uh, so here, let's get started. So this comes into uh, us from uh, the video, one of our videos online. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you can just put a comment down below if you have a question. Otherwise, it's feedback at aviationcareerspodcast.com. This one came from the time or money video we did, you know, what is more important for my pilot career? So here's the question. Is an aviation-focused degree required for legacy airlines or corporate 135 companies or is a BA or BS in another profession acceptable? I'm transitioning from the mortgage industry of 24 years to my true passion at age 47 and my instrument check ride in the next six weeks. First of all, good luck on the instrument check ride. Let us know how it goes, and uh, I'll give you a congratulations in advance for that. So love to hear your, your updates on that. He continues, I'm roughly at 424 total time, so my goal is to have my commercial license before Christmas this year, 2022, and already have my degree from when I was in college in my 20s. I have a part 91 job lined up to build time in a Navajo and then get type rated for the CR CJ3, which my instructor just made captain in. Just thought I'd ask about the aviation degree. Thank you for your time and congratulations on your captain and instructor position. That's a great opportunity. Well, first of all, thanks for that. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun instructing. Another reason we haven't gotten many uh, podcasts out lately is we've been so busy teaching new pilots at the airlines. Of course, I'm teaching in the Airbus. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about your requirements, the requirements for the major airlines. Uh, if we're looking at the major airlines, that's uh, what we're talking, the legacy airlines is what you're discussing. The legacy airlines require you, uh, require to you in the past to have a bachelor's and that bachelor's uh, there was a little more uh, credit given to a large you know a bachelor's degree in aviation not so much anymore now you can actually get hired with even an associates or no degree at all at a major airline and you could actually be flying one of these right here taken off a big jet like that a 737 or in that case I'm sorry yep that's a 737 taking off right now without a bachelor's degree. You can go to work for one of these cargo companies like we have here, but the degree itself, it doesn't matter what it's in. It doesn't matter. I know it's a, it's a hard thing to realize, but as long as you have a, a degree, let me tell you one thing, and this is my opinion on having the degree. I've told you to get hired, you don't need the degree, but I still think it's a good thing to have it. From a training perspective, and I train lots of pilots, uh, you, it does help to have that degree, and I'll, I'll tell you why. It, is because of the fact that when you get a degree, you get used to actually training, and it gets you used to that environment of training and learning in a very compressed amount of time. You already know how to study. You know how to take exams, that type of thing. So that's where I think having a degree uh, gives you one leg up over some other folks, but as far as in the application process, and that's right now uh, in 2022, that could change in the future. Because remember, when there's a downturn, uh, it's a good idea to have a degree because then what do they do? The airlines, they change the requirements. They say, okay, we didn't need a degree in the past, but now you need one now. So as far as the degree itself, though, answering your question, it doesn't matter what you have your degree in. As long as you have a degree, that'll give you a leg up. Um, having a degree from an aviation uh, college program is great. 
mainly because of the networking. The networking is just terrific. Plus, the other bonus to having an aviation degree is you have a more in-depth knowledge of systems, of the procedures, and of airline operations, something they don't go into into many other types of degrees. I have a degree in computer science with a minor in mathematics. Uh, I can use that somewhat in my, in my uh, field right now, especially now that I'm teaching in the simulator. But uh, it doesn't directly correlate. What does directly correlate is the training that I got. And I really believe that. It's all about training and talent. And uh, as long as you get great training out there, uh, I think that's the biggest thing to concentrate on. Again, congratulations on, on getting your instrument rating. Please write in and let us know that you uh, pass that check ride. Uh, so, yes, I would say to you, no, you don't uh, need to get an aviation degree as long as you do have a degree, either an AA or a BS. Remember, even though the last holdout, which is Delta Airlines, they went ahead and uh, stopped requiring a degree at all. So let's move on to the next question. Uh, it says, and remember, feedback at aviationcareerspodcast.com. Uh, this comes in from our email. It says, uh, thank you for all you do on the podcast. It's given me a lot of help while I plan my aviation journey. My plan is to pursue a career with the airlines, but I'm wondering if they require a COVID vaccine. Thanks for your help. Well, that's an interesting question because that's a dynamic uh, environment, the whole COVID vaccine requirement. That's been changing at the airlines. Uh, some may say that that's possibly a reason that we do have uh, a little bit of a shortage. There are some people that don't want to get the, the COVID vaccine. Uh, but as of right now, uh, I'm not even going to quote how many airlines require the COVID vaccine because that could change tomorrow. Uh, but I feel that one of the things you should look at is the possibility of getting that vaccine because a lot of airlines in, in general have been requiring it, but that could go away. Uh, so there's other jobs out there, Part 91 uh, and Part 135, that may not require the COVID vaccine. But, but remember, you're flying internationally, and some countries may require the COVID vaccine. Again, it's changing, and it's a dynamic environment. A year from now, uh, I could be talking to you saying, you know, that nobody requires a COVID vaccine. It's kind of like the flu vaccine. And that's kind of the trend that I'm seeing uh, is towards that because this is becoming an endemic. Uh, but remember, there's still, you know, an executive order out there and it's it's still an emergency order, I should say, uh, uh, concerning COVID and COVID vaccines. So yes, there are still going to be airlines that are going to require that COVID vaccine. So if that's a concern of yours, uh, currently, it should be a concern. In the future, it may not be. But it's hard for me to give advice either way because the air airlines can say, hey, listen, we're requiring a COVID vaccine for X, Y, and Z. It, they can require whatever vaccine. It, it could be the flu vaccine, et cetera. Uh, but just remember this. It's changing constantly. Uh, continue to watch, and, and we'll try to give you updates on that. As far as planning your future, I know that a lot of folks have come to this uh, channel and would like to do some career coaching. We're changing our career coaching uh, because of the fact that we're getting so many folks involved in career coaching coaching and, uh, and sometimes we're unable to give the service that we really want. Uh, we're kind of putting on a, a pause on the people that just can buy it on a retail basis. So what does that mean? That means if you really want to have career coaching, uh, we're going to put an application process in there. Uh, send us an email, feedback at aviationcareerspodcast.com com and say, hey, listen, you know, I, I want some career coaching. This is why. Give me a little bit of background uh, and then we'll see what we can do to try to fit you into the schedule. Uh, we're trying to go more towards online classes. I can't reach as many people as I'd love to uh, with the coaching. We're doing that seven days a week. Uh, it has really blown up. And I know you you know from the past that I've talked about the fact that, you know, we've dropped about, we dropped during COVID about 90% in our coaching. Now we're well above that. And, uh, and things, we've been really blessed. Uh, but one of the things that I'm finding is that it's just keeping us way too busy and we can't give the service that we people really deserve so they can go out and get a job in one of those. And that's something that I really want to do is I want to focus on doing more of these type of videos where I, I can help you. Also, please do me a favor. If you're watching this on YouTube, give us a thumbs up. Uh, give us some feedback as to whether you like having these done on YouTube also. We're doing these both on YouTube and taking the audio and still putting it on the podcast because most of you still love to listen to this uh, on the way back and forth to work questions, feedback at aviationcareerspodcast.com. If you're on our YouTube channel, check out in the show notes uh, some of these uh, different comments that are there and also some of the questions. I answer them online and also going to try to do more videos just like this. And I can't wait to talk to you in the next episode. But, you know, the most important thing, as you know, those people that just took off in that 737 behind me, and I'm assuming that was a 737. I didn't look behind me. But in that cargo jet, 
the the most important thing is that those people when they were starting to develop their career and move forward they didn't stop they took it one day at a time to move forward in their career just like you should do and if you could do this for me promise me that you'll take one step today to move forward in your career well what is that step that could be anything after you stop listening to this or watching this on youtube Maybe you want to write down a note and say, this is what I want to do next in my career. But the most important thing is continual motion, continually moving forward, just like we do here. And what we try to do for you, we continually try to put out content to help you out. And you'll see the benefits of that, of that continuum, continual motion. But the most important thing you need to do is take action today. And do this for me. Take one step today to move forward in your career and in your life. We'll, we'll talk to you next episode. Safe flying out there. Yeah.